Hi guys, I've started playing Lens Island over the last couple of days since the 1.0 release but I found very quickly that the camera was driving me nuts. Um, it's too top down, you cannot tilt it enough and you just can't see where you're going. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, show the game as it is by default. Alright, I've loaded into the game and this is the def oops, this is the default view. This is a little house I made. So as you can see, it's very, very top down. I can't see what's around me. Now you can tilt the camera a little bit, but not much. Now if I go out onto the open water, um, you'll see this even more. If I start, if I open up the map, you can see I've explored a little bit. So if I just start to sail out, oh, wait for the dog. Are you coming? Okay, there we go. So again, that this is the furthest you can zoom. Now you, you do have a zoom, you can sort of zoom out, but that again is the furthest out you can go. You just cannot see where you can go. The problem is you just you just can't see. Let me show you the fixed version and then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, I have loaded back into the game with the camera fixed. And now we can see that we can, it's a little bit janky to do, hold on. Uh, now we've got a lot more freedom to tilt. You'll see the horizon there, this kind of blue line does look a little bit janky. But honestly, for me, that is so much more worth it. And in terms of the zoom, you can now configure the zoom how you want it. So you can have quite a, um, a very zoomed in view, which is, you know, much, much closer than the most games that you would have and you can also zoom out as far as you want and this is all configurable so if you're wondering how this is done it's in a mod but let me again just show you how this looks now you can see here the currents they do look a bit janky but that's just the game let me um sail over to somewhere near an island hold on Okay, so I've swum out a little bit. If we go onto my map, you can see this. You've got fog of war here. I can't see where I'm going, but now I can clearly see that we have another island to explore up here. And for me, this just is just so much better. At this point, I cannot play without this. So if you're wondering what it is, it's a mod. So I'm going to show you how to install it because it's a little bit tricky. You actually have to install two different things, but don't worry, it's not technical at all so I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to fix it and how to configure it okay this is the mod which um, fixes it so I'm on Nexus mods here now what's really cool is Lens Island doesn't actually have any mods it's got just literally this one mod here and it's the most important one so it has a prerequisite you have to install something called Bepinex now let me explain what this is and then I'll show how to install that so this is a framework for modding games which are made in Unity. So it looks a little bit scary, but don't worry, it's all you literally have to do is download the zip file and unzip it into your Lens Island game uh, directory, sorry, and then you can just run it here. So this has been in development for several years. Um, it's got thousands and thousands of stars. It's got dozens of contributors. Um, this is a very solid well-known framework from the mod page it doesn't have a hyperlink here but it does link directly to a zip file now i wouldn't necessarily recommend that because there is even now a a more up-to-date version so i've just gone on to the main github page for bepinx and if you just come down to releases just click on latest releases and then you just download the one for you now i can only advise on what I'm doing, which is for the PC Steam version. I do not know how this works on Linux, Mac, or anything else. So I'm running um, this one here, which is the Win64 X64. So on Steam, this is going to depend where you have it. So for me, I have a D drive, I've got the Steam library, then you're going to have Steam Apps, Common, and Lens Island. And all you need to do is put it directly into this folder. So for me, the latest one was 23.3. If we go back onto the mod page, the, the one they're linking to here is 23.2. So I would always recommend going to the actual page and downloading whatever is the latest release because you know if you're watching this sometime after this video is published, there might be a newer version. Um, now, if you simply have a look in the archive, 
You've got a Bepinex folder there, and then we've got a few other files. So all you need to do is unzip this entire zip file into the root of the game. Now I've already done this. Here is my Bepinex folder. And there's gonna be a couple of different things that you see. So all of these folders won't be here initially. So with Bepinex in place, what you can now do is come over back to the mod and then we just go over to files. Now, obviously, I've already downloaded this. You just do manual download here. It will tell you that you need to download the prerequisite. So you download that. So we have a look in here. This creates two folders, a config and a plugin. If we go back. And so what we need to do here is actually put that in the Bepinex folder. And then we need to unzip it from here. So of course, I've already done this before. And then what you want is in your plugins directory, you should see the better camera controller plugin.dll. And in your config, you should see the better camera controller config. And this is the one that you're gonna to want to edit. So let me show you mine. So we've got three presets, which is just the same as the base game. So in the base game, you can switch between three different camera controls. Um, by default, it's on the PC. You hold down the right button and then you scroll the mouse wheel. So you've got a close camera, a default camera and a far camera. So there's a few things you can change here. The main ones for me are the zoom distance and down the bottom is this the tilt so we've got the three different pre um, presets for the actual camera itself so i've just modified the zoom slightly so i've got my default one at 25 rather than 30 and i've got my close camera at 10 rather than 9. but the main thing here is the tilt i haven't changed anything in the defaults here but what this allows is that it gives you the freedom of the tilt on the camera so the base the game default is only 7.5 on the vertical tilt and this mod allows you to tilt to minus 30. This is the main thing that makes the huge amount of difference. Now for the most part I find that this works absolutely beautifully but every now and then it appears to just stop working. I haven't quite pinpointed when that happens but an easy fix I just quit out and start again and then it's fine so I don't know why it's happened and unfortunately the developer hasn't said if they're going to carry on making any adjustments to it I hope they do but for me the slight inconvenience of having to quit out and reload the game every now and then is absolutely worth it because to be quite honest as much as I want to love this game because I've been following it for months the camera was almost a deal breaker for me on the first day and I was I almost rage quit after a few hours. It's like I can't get on with this, I can't see where I'm going. And then I found the mod and my life was changed. So um yeah, I I hope you find this useful. I'm probably gonna be doing a few more guides for Lens Island on the channel. So let me know if you if you want anything like that. Yeah, so thanks for watching.